By far, the best way to get a job or an internship, especially for an engineering role, is to reach out to recruiters, engineers, or hiring managers on LinkedIn. However, the process for reaching out to recruiters is a little bit different than the process for reaching out to hiring managers or engineers. So I'll share with you the step-by-step -step breakdown on how to reach out to both. But first, I should mention why using LinkedIn is very important and why just applying on a company's website isn't enough. First, your application can get lost when you apply to jobs online purely on the company's website. Whether you're applying for big companies or small startups, it is possible for you to be a strong candidate but still never have your resume seen by an actual human. Simply just because to get a lot of applicants. Second, when you reach out to people on LinkedIn, they see you as a real human and not just a number or a random applicant out of a large pool of applicants. So if you're actually qualified, they're a lot more likely to help you out. Third, when you start, you have absolutely nothing to lose and everything to gain. Now, to reach out to recruiters, there are a few steps that you need to take. You want to start off by sending them a connection request that's easygoing, relatable, and brings them some kind of value. So saying something like, could you refer me for this position or could you please help me get a job interview probably won't work. Instead, start off by going on LinkedIn, then go to the LinkedIn page of the company you want to work for, go to the people section, search up recruiter and messenger something like, hey Gianna, I see you're also working in the Bay Area and I find the work Verkata is doing to be really interesting. Would love to connect if possible. Notice how I'm not explicitly asking for a job or a referral right away. I'm just trying to build a genuine connection. Now, once my connection request has been accepted, I move on to the next step where I ask for some more information. I can say something like, Hi Gianna, thanks for accepting my connection request. I saw the product mechanical design engineer job posting a few days ago and I'd love to learn more about the role to see if I'd be a good fit and to learn more about what you look for in a new hire. If you're interested, here's also a copy of my resume. Obviously, make sure you're only contacting the recruiter if you have a decent enough experience for the role you're applying for. I personally like being straight to the point, however, do keep in mind that some recruiters can just blatantly ignore you. So usually I'd message multiple recruiters from a bunch of different companies saying a similar message and hopefully a few of them reply and then I can get on a call with them. If you really think about it, it doesn't matter how many different people we message because really you just need one job offer. However, if you prefer to be more discreet and don't want to be as straightforward, once she accepts your connection request, you can say something like this. Hi Gianna, thanks for accepting my connection request. I saw the product mechanical design engineer job posting a few days ago. I'm an experienced mechanical engineer and I'd love to learn more about the role. So would you be able to connect me with someone on your team for a quick chat to better understand the role? I understand your time is valuable, so I'd like to learn more about the role before I ask you specific questions about the application process. This message is less direct, and depending on the recruiter you're contacting, it may give you a better response. Next, you want to follow up with the recruiter, and there are a few ways you can do so. First, if she gave you some career advice or she gave you some solid feedback on your resume, you can say something like, Hi Gianna, just wanted to follow up and say thanks for all your help. Hope you're doing well. Just wanted to share what I've been up to for the last few months. Work thing number one and work thing number two. Again, I appreciate your time. However, if she was able to get you in contact with someone on the team or at least get you an interview, then say something like this instead. Hi Gianna, thanks for setting up the call. I enjoyed the conversation and learned a lot about how Verkata is planning to scale in the future. Would love to learn more about how I can bring my skills to good use at Verkata. With this message, you're just showing you're interested and have the experience needed for this particular role. Again, I just like to keep my messages short and I don't like throwing any BS on them because I know they get a lot of messages daily. Again, the goal with this is to get on a call with someone, whether it's the recruiter or the hiring manager, because getting on that call will allow you to have your resume seen and allow you to talk to them about your experience. Now, besides reaching out to a recruiter, you can also reach out directly to engineers or hiring managers that are doing the work that you want to be doing in the future. You can find these people by going on the company's LinkedIn people's page, searching for engineer and messaging those engineers about open roles. If it's a big company like Apple or Tesla, they almost always have open roles, so don't be afraid to message engineers working at those companies. But if it's a smaller company or a startup, make sure the company is actually hiring. If they are, then your chances of getting a good response back is very high. That being said, here's the step-by-step -step process of contacting them. First, find people you have things in common with and that have the job you want. You can do this by filtering your people search by the school you went to or by a club or a team you are both part of in the past. Once you find people you have something in common with, message them something like this. Hi, whatever, my name is Tamer and I'm a mechanical engineering soon to be graduate from Waterloo with over 20 months of work experience. I noticed that you're also an alum of Waterloo and doing mechanical engineering at 
whatever company, would love to learn from your experience in the field if you have a couple minutes for a call. There is a 300 character limit on LinkedIn when you connect with someone, so make sure your message is short and to the point. If you message 100 people like this, maybe 20 will respond to you, and out of those 20, maybe 5 will agree to have a call, and out of those 5, one of them could lead to a job offer. The strategy of messaging people like this where you have a bunch of things in common like a school or a club that you are a part of works really well for bigger companies like Apple or Tesla. For smaller startups, it can also work, but it isn't necessary. This brings me to step two where I message engineers at companies that I like. So for startups, for example, I message engineers right away saying something like, hey, whatever, I saw that you're working at whatever company as a mechanical engineer. I'd love to connect to learn more about your experience and what the company is looking for when hiring mechanical engineers. Or you can also say something like this. Hi, whatever, my name is Tamer and I'm a mechanical engineering soon to be graduate with over 20 months of work experience. I'd love to know what it takes to be a successful engineer at whatever company and how I could land a job there one day. Would you be open to have a call to discuss it? Or if you have no experience, you can also say something like this. Hi, whatever, I'm a mech eng student from the University of Waterloo passionate about mechanical design. I'm currently seeking summer 2022 internship opportunities and was wondering if we can connect to learn more about potential roles on your team. Thank you. I've actually used these messages that I shared with you right now in the past when I was applying for internships or full-time roles and I was pretty successful. So it doesn't hurt to try, you should really give it a shot. Just don't give up after messaging one engineer because I message a ton of engineers to actually see a result. Now, when you're messaging people like this on LinkedIn, your goal should be to get on a call with them eventually. So when they respond to your first message, follow up by asking when they'd be available for a call. Once they send you your availability, make sure that you understand what time zone they're in because sometimes you can make a mistake and assume it's Pacific Standard Time when it's actually Eastern Standard Time because I personally made that mistake before. So make sure that your time zones are compatible with each other. Now, once you have a call set up, you need to come prepared with a few things. First, you need to have a good answer to the tell me about yourself question. Give them a quick two to five minute summary of your professional experience. Then ask to learn more about their professional experience, why they like the company, how they got to where they are, or if they have any advice on your resume or portfolio, or even what the interviews at that particular company look like. Don't think of this call as an interview because it really isn't. Just think about it like you're just having a casual conversation with someone and you're just trying to learn about how their particular company hires engineers. At the end of the call, if it's going well, you feel a connection and you're feeling a little brave, ask them if they have open roles at that particular company and if they could help refer you or help you get an interview for that position. They'll either help you get an interview or tell you no, but if they say no, they'll at least give you some feedback on why not, which you can learn from. Notice how so far I only mentioned to contact people through LinkedIn. Sometimes you can also contact people through their work email because it really isn't that hard to find. For most companies, they usually structure their emails something like this. However, from experience, I learned using people's work emails to contact them instead of just going on LinkedIn is kind of annoying and is a bit of an invasion of privacy because I've actually been on the receiving end of some of these emails. So I don't recommend doing it. I recommend just sticking to LinkedIn and not trying to hunt for people's work emails like this. The only time it's okay is if they release their email as public information on LinkedIn or something, then feel free to email them. But if not, do not hunt for their email. Now, I've just thrown a lot of information and message templates on you, so let me just quickly summarize. You start off by either contacting recruiters or engineers. I personally found more success contacting engineers over recruiters because engineers tend to get less messages than recruiters. For the recruiter, I'll send them a general connection request, not bringing up the job right away. Then based on the vibe, I'd either ask to have a call with them or a call with an engineer on the team. If they agree to hop on a call with me, my goal is to see what it takes to get hired, get some resume feedback, and see if they can help me get an interview. If they can't get on a call, just accept the L, move on, and maybe follow up in a few months once you've built more experience. Now, if they agree to set up a call between you and an engineer, learn from them, and see what it takes to do well. If not, again, just accept the L and move on. For the engineers, either send a connection request to someone you have things in common with or send a general one. Once accepted, then get on a call with them. Make sure to come up with questions, tell them about yourself, and try to leave the call with an action item. Examples of an action item is something like having them review your resume, get you an interview, or connect you with someone else that can better help you. Keep in mind that everything I've shared so far is all worked for me from my own experience and some of my friends' experiences. The message templates are literally what I use when messaging people on LinkedIn, and it's worked for me, so I just thought it'd be cool to share. It's actually crazy how it works, but it does take a little bit of time, so just be consistent with it and have some patience. Fun fact, this right here is literally the message I sent to my current manager 
when I was job hunting and that was his response. Anyways, I hope this video brought you value. If it did, check out this video where I share with you the hiring process for Tesla engineers or check out that video where I share with you a step-by-step -step guide on how to get engineering internships from literally no experience. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace!